Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Shrey Gaming, and I am back for another video. And today, I'm actually doing um, another comment-inspired command. And this one goes out to, I think it was, well, the comment should be the beginning of the video as the Superman one as well. If you remember um, that one. So, you should have seen that in the beginning. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, Attack on Titan is like a show where there is um, Titans and then I guess like people that are trying to stop them because they're doing bad things I guess it's <laughs> the best way I could explain it so um I actually had to look into the show myself and had to figure it out and see what it was all about but now I got it so let's go ahead and just paste that in there place this 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 so a stack won't do a thing so let's go ahead and pull half of everything out of here there we go so we get compressed air and a bottle we can also do it with singular things as well so you go ahead and just get one water bucket and then uh you can place the you know the stuff around so if you haven't seen my uh my <laughs> i forgot what it's called uh, my cra custom crafting video then you should go check that out to see how i did that all right so now go ahead and do this one this is for the grappling hook the grappling hook is a snowball all right and I made like the durability of it oh yeah it's supposed to be one in here so the durability of it is technically um, the durability of the grappling hook is technically 16 so all right you see, I have my compressed air, it's at 32. Um, let's go ahead and move my glass bottles out of here. So, alright, let's start off with, if I try and activate it with no compressed air, it's not going to work. So I need my compressed air. There you go. So you get like a grappling effect type thing. Uh, it's with leash knots. So, and you see that I'm gaining glass bottles. And it's removing the uh, compressed air, which is actually Dragon's Breath, but for me it looks like the most compressed air. Now, it's not only a grappling hook that requires compressed air. Come on, man, I had to do something, right? So, if I go ahead and summon a Iron Golem, I didn't actually make Titans, but that might be in a different video. I was planning on making Iron Golems into Titans. Oh, shoot. Bye-bye. And just give them like strength 10 or something. So if I keep spamming this golem with it. Oh shoot, I'm out. <laughs> I need more. Nah, 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 nah. I'm dead. Oh, that sucks. Oh, also, all my stuff went away because I'm trying to make like a server type thing. I need to go ahead and get a creative and get those things. Alright, let's go ahead and get myself some leash knots. Leash knots. Um, I mean leads. Go ahead and get that. Go ahead and then get some string. Go ahead and get some iron. Why did I make it so cheap? Because the compressed air is kind of expensive. Because you actually have to go into a, uh, like the chemical creating table. Or, uh, table... Nah. Nah, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's in here. I'm pretty sure. So you need to actually make the elements. And how do you do that? Oh yeah, also I'm using a texture pack. It's not an attack on Titan. It's just another texture pack I like using. Um, so, I don't know what it's exactly called, but whatever. Well, you need to use that table to actually make those elements in the first place. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I actually have to stand on top of this thing right here. Bam, we got ourselves some snowballs. And get some string in there. Go ahead and get some iron. I might actually make this into a survival series. And then just make it so that it spawns in aggressive golems with extreme amounts of health. So, let's just try and take them down, shall we? 
Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I have no compressed air. Well <laughs> Game mode's creative. Oh, you didn't kill me. You could have killed me right there. I'm just gonna get myself some compressed air, I guess. Uh, I'll replace that in a bit here. Actually, it does remove Dragon's Breath instead, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just um, get a lot of it. Oh, hi. So, let me just try and kill this golem with this. Oh no, he's fighting. Okay, so I'm trying to actually see. Wait, um, I have a damaging circuit. Oh, I removed that earlier. Okay. Wait, I need to add that back real quick. Um, cute at E bracket type equals snow ball here to go ahead and, um, effect. At E bracket R equals two, comma, tag equals exclamation mark, player. Oh no, tag equals. Okay, so I, I made a random tag. I don't know why I chose Hunter for it, but I guess I did. So instant damage, instant damage, 10, 1. Actually, it should, it should be 110 trip. Let's go ahead and try that now. This should be able to kill the gold. Yep, there you go. So. Um, I, I don't know why he's in the world, but I guess he is. I didn't invite him or anything. That's fine. Oh, hey, he's just trying to say hi. So. I have a nice grappling hook that does damage now. So, um. So, it does keep taking away the dragon's breath no matter if I'm in creative or not. Um, alright, so, it's fine that he's here, I don't really care. Alright, so, the grappling hook, it does do damage to mobs and entities. You could, you could just change what the entities are, I just let it, <laughs> yeah, I can one shot him with that. <laughs> anyway, so, this is a really nice grappling hook. It's not really best when you try and throw it upwards, just like directly upwards, and you can actually continue using it. So, as long as you stay in the command's range, and actually you don't have to anymore. So I found a new command, it's called Ticking Area. So you can go ahead and do slash Ticking Area Add Circle, right? Go ahead and do Radius of 4. Uh, a, I don't really care what it is. So now this command will actually work out throughout my world. So as you can see, I know the positioning's off by a little bit, but it does work infinitely. This is pretty epic. Come on, you gotta you gotta agree with me that this grappling hook is not that bad. At least agree that it's not bad. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. So you can add infinite range to your commands now. So it's pretty cool. Keep going. Alright, and I'm here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, let's get into the commands. Alright. So, we start over here. It detects if I have Dragon's Breath in my inventory. If I don't, if I have it in my inventory, this activates. So it clears the nearest player, which is tagged Hunter, with uh, and it tries to remove it. But since I set it to the value of zero, it's just detecting if I have it in my inventory. So once it does, it's constantly powering this command block right here. I should actually move this. 
uh, to over here. Yep, so, um, this command block, it's executing at the snowball to teleport uh, the hunter to, like, you know, like, kind of to the side of it. You could just remove that, I guess, if you don't No, Well, actually, you kind of need it. Uh, heal up again. Alright, that's fine. Um, so, you kind of need that so that you don't break the snowball when you're falling down or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you could add that if you want. Then, once you have thrown the snowball, right, that activates. What happens is then this over here will remove one dragon breath out of my inventory. What happens after that is it's going to power this command block and it's going to execute at the snowball to summon leash knots right below it. So if I was to throw it, you could see there's leash knots. So that's pretty cool. Why do I choose leash knots? Because they look like a rope. It's pretty cool. I like it. That effect is just amazing. So, then it will go ahead and if that, if, well, you guys saw this one, but this is just damaging part of it. So, it can damage any entity. You can remove the instant damage if you want to do damage to husks and all that kind of stuff. So, and then after it has done that, it will give me a glass bottle because I had the compressed air, right? And so, it removes the compressed air and gives me a bottle. So, and then technically I have durability because I only have 16 snowballs, but since I can get infinitely many, you know. And then you can actually um, just change the tag, so like Hunter, and Hunter 1, Hunter 2, Hunter 3, and you can have this for as many players as you want. That's pretty cool, and I like that, and I like that a lot. So, that's, and then this part is actually very important. This command has nothing to do with anything. That's with my first attempt at the grapple, but it was just way too weak, way too slow. So, it goes ahead and powers this command block, so this doesn't permanently stay on if I was to do that, right? Sometimes it just permanently stays on. If I just have it on for like a long time, or if it detects a snowball, it would just constantly try and try and do stuff, and, you know, and it's just it's just not good. Let's just say that much. So, like, it, it limits me from being able to spam snowballs and grapple infinitely many times. But actually, it doesn't require more um, of the compressed air when you are spamming the snowballs, which is a pretty big flaw. But it does, you know, like it. it, it you know, whatever, okay? I don't know how to fix that, okay? But this is not that bad. So, there you go. You have your grappling hook. So, thank you to whoever commented their suggestion. Uh, I actually really liked making this thing. Uh, I was planning on making a Spider-Man soon, and I was kind of, like, confused on how I'm going to do it. And I'm probably going to use something similar to this design for Spider-Man. It's very cool, right? So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.